constant chilling nightmare for over 30 years. Can she sleep now? We'll check in with Beyond Show guests and see what's happened to them and the predictions they receive. So what happened since you left the show? Everybody keeps using the word skeptic. I was a little skeptic. What made Rochelle a believer? She's one of several guests ready to testify about what happened to them after being on Beyond. <laughs> I love these follow-ups because okay. it, it is interesting to see what happens later. And we have That's someone correct. else. Okay, so if you remember this one, okay. hypnotherapist Tom Silver Tom was Silver. here. Mm -hmm. He helped a woman, Rochelle, who had a recurring dream for over 30 years of being stabbed to yes, death. Yes, I remember that. As, yes, I remember that. And she couldn't sleep at night because she had these horrifying nightmares all the time. And on the show, he did a past life regression on her. Take a look at the tapes. See if you remember this one. Okay. I'm walking down the stairs. There's a lady behind me. I think she's my she's my wife, and she's in a black dress with flowers, and she's coming behind me, and she has a knife in her hand. And what is happening right now? Tell me what is happening right now. Just. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, Rochelle. Thank you. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, we all want to know what's happened since you were on the show. Well, everybody keeps using the word skeptic. I was a little skeptic. Um, I, I did see the vision, but because I have for 31 years, every night I had a ritual where I would make sure all the windows were closed. Um, if I was having a bad night, I'd get up, I'd push the couch in front of the door to make sure that I could sleep. Um, I'd get up four or five times a night. Oh, awesome. Just, Amazing. Yeah. That's really a way of living life. Yeah. So did anything come out of your past life regression with Dr. Tom Silver? Well, after having the vision, um, I could sleep. <laughs> but what came out of it for me, it was such a, a release. I felt that this person who was stabbing me I did her such harm, or she was just so angry. And it was, I was crying, but I was crying more of the pain that I caused that person. Let me ask you something. Do you think this not only helped you, but do you think there's an opportunity to heal that person that you were in that past life with? I, that's I do, what I'm I do, I do. That's, that's why I cried. It was such a release. There was such anger that I had caused this person. And I carried that with me, apparently. And, and this well, helped resolve that, maybe, perhaps. Hmm. Well, that's what, I'm, that's what I felt. Because well, I, mean, I, I think a lot of people watch, watching the show, they're going to have a hard time believing a past life regression helped you yeah. to, to just get rid of something that's been with you for 31 years of your life. You have to understand that there's a result. Right. I mean, they, we have the result that it actually worked mm -hmm. because now she no longer can have some furniture against the door. She no longer has those nightmares. So the bottom line is that regression worked. It did something. Right. We might not know what it did, but it definitely did something. Who cares what you did? You're not as having a dream anymore. That's, that's and we're happy. Thank you, Rochelle. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. A young lady named Shelly contacted me and told me she was so afraid of heights that she couldn't even climb a stepladder. I wanted to help her, so I asked hypnotherapist Tom Silver to work with Shelley and finally put all of her fears to rest. Let's take a look. Hoyt Tower, one of San Francisco's famous landmarks, reaches 210 feet into the air, boasting a spectacular view of the city. But imagine having a phobia that paralyzes you from going to the top. I'm definitely not going up there. For 30-year-old customer support agent Shelly Lucas, going up Coit Tower or any high building is simply out of the question. It's too high, way too high. Even the idea of going up a ladder puts her into panic mode. Yeah, I, I, I can't go any higher. If, if I do, I'm definitely gonna start crying. I, I can't go up any higher. It's, no. It's not going to happen. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. And my heart just, it's still pounding really hard. Meet hypnotist Tom Silver. He understands Shelley's fears all too well. A phobia is an extreme fear. It's a manic fear based on real experiences. And they're kind of like a built-in safety mechanism to help us, you know, do the right thing without avoiding dangerous situations. A person who has a phobia and that phobic anxiety comes up, their heart starts beating fast, uh, they start to perspire, some people feel like they can't even breathe. You have a desire to want to run away. It's what we call the flight mechanism, running away from that dangerous situation. And so, so that's really what a phobia is. 
Call it what you like. The fear is destroying Shelley's life. No baseball games. Bleachers are too high. The Eiffel Tower is a pipe dream. And forget about changing a light bulb. For Shelly, it's just not going to happen. I dream about falling and I wake up literally in a deep sweat or I cry a lot when um, I go too high. I love views, but I find myself always standing up against the back of the wall and not enjoying anything at all. This phobia has a potential to ruin my life. Try to climb up the ladder if you could. No. Honestly, Can you do it? I, I can't. You can't climb up this ladder. Well, you know, I'm going to hypnotize you today. Not to climb up this ladder, but to go up there. Take a look up there. <laughs> no, I don't think so. There's definitely no way you're getting me up there. At all. If I can't get past the second rung, there's no way I can get up that tower and be able to look over the side. No. According to Tom, fears, real or imagined, are located in a person's subconscious mind. Tom, to be honest with you, I'm a little skeptical about this working. I've been trying to do the whole mind over matter, you know, forget what's in the conscious and use the subconscious type thing, and it's never worked. And th this has been going on since I was a kid. But well, once I remove that fear, you'll be able to go up that tower. So I want you to place your hands on your lap, uncross your legs, place your feet flat on the floor, good. I want you to look down at your hands, and I just want you to relax the muscles of your hands. Just let them just become very heavy and very relaxed. When you go up into the building, you're going to enjoy the most beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous view. As Tom works with Shelly, he's tapping into her mind and removing her age-old fears and replacing them with confidence. That fear is now gone and can't come back, even if you wanted it to. And now five, eyes open, wide awake. Feel different, don't you? Good. Feel calm? Mm -hmm. Feel peaceful? You feel now that you're ready to test yourself? I, I think I can do this. I, I mean, not even to think, I know I can. I'm, I'm actually excited to go there. Did hypnosis work? It's time to put Shelly to the test. The first hurdle, the very terrifying ladder. <laughs> I'll just hold this, Ed. Okay. And just go on and climb on up the ladder. Wow. That same good feeling, look yes. at that. And there's like no anxiety, no heart pangings, no nothing. I mean, even with the thing wobbling. Look at that. Okay. I'm holding it, it's steady. One more step up. Excellent, excellent. How do you feel? Queen of the world! It's one thing to be able to get to the top of a six-foot ladder, but the real proof is looming 200 feet above the ground. So come on up. All right, I'm ready for this. Don't you feel good? Yes, I'm looking See, up Even looking and... up, you don't feel any, you feel joy. I do. Just turn around and watch your step. Thanks. Hi. 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 Here, come on out. Take a look, how do you feel? Wow, I feel awesome. Isn't that beautiful? That is very beautiful. Let's see if well, I can get over here. View. Holy cow! I'm not freaking out. And my friends are gonna die. I'm not scared. Excellent. Basically, I feel like I can't stop looking now. I mean, I just like want to sit on the top of here and just stare out all day. Total freedom. Total freedom, absolutely. Woohoo! I'm at the top and I'm not scared <laughs> at all. I'm not even holding on. I just realized that. Isn't that great? That is awesome. I'm so happy. Oh, you deserve it. Shelly to the show. Shelly, all the way up to the Coit Tower, 210 feet. 210 wow. feet. Yes. Now, I, watching this, it just seems to me you have been afraid of heights all your life. Yes. And it seems so easy. <laughs> it wasn't it before. It's, How has it changed? It's extremely freeing. I, um, the first thing I did when I got on the airplane was that the guy at the counter asked me, window or aisle? I'm like, window. <laughs> out the window. You. And um, I was I was looking out and there was no anxiety. I Congratulations. Love it. We're glad we were able to help. It's been yes. very, very receptive. Yes. Okay. Very Good receptive. job. Good for you. Don't climb a mountain. Shelly. So much. Don't climb a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. So you I mean that's it. I can't go down the hill. She swore she'd never be able to drive down this hill. Oh, what have I got myself into? Can hypnosis push her over the edge? Find out next on Beyond. You know, here at Beyond, we're always interested in things considered impossible. 
Now for Gloria Hudson, impossible means driving up the steep hills of San Francisco where she lives. We sent hypnotherapist Tom Silver to visit Gloria to see if he could remove her lifelong fear of dramatic inclines. Let's take a look. I can't do it, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna turn because I can't. So you, I mean, that's it, I can't go down the hill. I, I just feel nervous, you know. Um, about kind of like out of breath, nervous, shaky like. Granted, the hills of San Francisco can startle most out-of-towners, but Gloria Hudson has been challenging them and losing for more years than she can remember. It's one in my life. Instead of my driving up a hill or going down a hill, I would walk. Meet Tom Silver, a hypnotist who specializes in curing phobias. Oh, thousands and thousands of people have fears of driving. And 50 million Americans suffer from phobic anxiety. What have I got myself into? <laughs> I think that there's nothing on the other side. You know, if I'm on the top of the hill, you know, you think there's nothing there, and you're gonna just fall off. I mean, you don't. I know it sounds crazy, but it's not because my mind just go haywire with stuff. We've challenged Tom to help Gloria overcome her phobia of driving steep inclines, and he's confident that hypnosis can cure her for good. Why people have fears a lot of times is because. They have had a negative experience, and then all of a sudden, they confront this fearful situation again. Oh, what have I got myself into? And as soon as they start to think about the fear, the subconscious brings up the emotion. Gloria's fears may relate to a traumatic experience she had as a teenager. My family, we had gone on a trip to Kentucky, and we had a really bad accident. We ended up facing this bridge, and I just felt like going over the bridge, you know, like in the water, we were going to be dead. So will hypnosis work? Gloria Hudson is skeptical. I have some doubts now. I have some doubts. I, I want to hypnotize you today, Gloria, to remove that fear that you have towards driving. So we want to remove that fear. It's not what you deserve. You deserve the freedom now in life. So we're going to begin. What I want to do is I want you to place your hands on your lap. I just want you to kind of just let yourself relax, let yourself go. I want you to focus your attention on your breathing now, Gloria. Tom's goal is to tap into Gloria's subconscious, which he believes is the breeding ground of all fears. During hypnosis, he'll remove her fear and replace it with confidence. 50% of that negative emotion, fear, or worry towards driving up a hill or down a hill is now gone, just as wax melts off a candle. And when I say the word sleep, the hand will drop down, releasing 80% of that negative, useless, old, destructive worry and fear. Eyes open. Wide awake. <laughs> how do you feel right now? I'm going to see how things work. It's going to work good. great. Feel good. Can lifelong fears really be uprooted from our minds this easily? It's time to put Gloria to the test. I'm just waiting to get to that little spot and, you know, go down that hill. That's what I want to do. I cannot believe I'm going down this hill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not scared. I'm not gonna make any more U-turns. As a matter of fact, I'll make a U-turn and go back up the hill. I cannot believe this is incredible. So will Gloria's ability to drive up hills last? Well, she seems to think so. I did it. Now, well, How was it? I did. It was great. Oh, give me a hug. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you. That's it, I did it. I did it. I wasn't scared at all.